When we want to stop at a word, we need to look at the last letter of that word. This will tell us how to stop. If the word ends in one vowel, we replace it with a sukun. For example, the last word ends in one vowel. It reads as al kafiruna. When we are reading and come to a stop, we simply replace the vowel with a sukun. Now we read it as al kafirun and not al kafiruna. Another example, the last word has one vowel at the end. It reads dini. When we are reading and come to a stop, we simply replace the vowel with a sukun. Now we read it as din and not dini. If the last word ends in two kasras or two dhammas, we replace it with a sukun. For example, the last word has two dhammas. It reads ahadun. When we are reading and come to a stop, we replace them with a sukun. Now we read it as ahad and not ahadun. Or another example, the last word has two kasras. It reads lahabin. When we are reading and come to a stop, we replace them with a sukun. Now we read it as lahab and not lahabin. If the last word ends in two fathas, we read it with one fatha and one alif. For example, the last word has two fathas. The word reads hamiman. When we are reading and come to a stop, we read it with one fatha and one alif. The alif is already there for us. Now we read it as hamima and not hamiman. Another example, the last word has two fathas. The word reads hisaban. When we are reading and come to a stop, we read it with one fatha and one alif. Now we read it as hisaba and not hisaban. In this example, it has two fathas. The word reads nida'an. We said when we are reading and come to a stop, we read it with one fatha and one alif. Where is the alif? The same rule applies here. We simply place the alif in its place and read it with one fatha. Now we read it as nida'a. If the last letter ends in a round ta, we change it to a ha and put a sukun on it. For example, we see a round ta at the end of a word. The word reads hamiyatun. When we are reading and come to a stop, we change it to a ha with sukun. Now the word reads hamiyah with a ha at the end. In another example, we see the last letter of the word ends in a round ta. The word reads aliyatin. When we are reading and come to a stop, we change it to a ha with sukun. Now the word reads aliyah. If the last letter is an alif with a fatha before it, or the letter is a sukun, no change will take place when stopping. So the word here reads talaha and nothing changes. Another example, the last word has a sukun. The word reads hushirat and nothing changes. <laughs> Sadaqallah.